Um, I read somewhere that um, one of your uh, that one of your friends was killed by an off-duty police officer. Right. Would you mind talking about that? Yeah. Um, uh, that was my homie, R.I.P. My boy Cheetah. Yeah. Well, he was outside of bomb shells out there off Fuqua and. I guess he got into an altercation when he was coming outside. He was coming back to fight. And then, I mean, I wasn't there when it happened, but they, I mean, I heard all the stories. You know what I mean? This one of the homies, he was really, real good in the hood. Everybody knew him. Uh, he's from Magnolia, though, he was up the street from me. Um, then, they, you know, I guess he shot him and killed him. You know what I mean? That shit was crazy. Like, like, like what's going on right now in the yeah. real kind of shit? Just yeah. kind of shot him and, and killed him, shit? Like, yeah, he popped him. He died on the way to the hospital and shit, man. And, and, and what was, it was, it was the argument between him and the, and the op dude? No, it was, it, was, it was him and another dude. And then, I guess, whenever he was coming back, to fight, dude. The dude, I guess I don't know what the other dude was doing, but shot that boy. Shot my boy. I mean, the cop did. The cop shot my boy. Damn. The cop yeah, it was shot fucked up, man. Wow. It's fucked That's up, crazy. place, nigga. So, I saw. I watched your say cheese interview, right? Right. And, and From back asked, in the day. Oh, which one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I uh, you, you. I was I wearing you, red? You wearing a beanie? You wearing? Oh, okay, beanie. yeah. That was like fourteen. That's crazy. That was like two thousand fourteen. So you, so, so I want to ask you something. What's up? He asked you about Cap G. Mm-hmm. And you said mm-hmm. you could do a hook for me or something. <laughs> that to me felt like I don't want him to do me. I don't want to verse. Well, no, nah, really, and no, but it's nothing disrespectful towards Cap G. I I respect him as an artist because you know what I'm saying he he's do, reaching levels that a lot of Hispanic artists ain't reaching Latin artists. And then I just thought at the, of course I was younger at the time didn't really know much. Um, it wasn't no diss type thing. It just think that like styles really didn't blend much. You know what I mean? Like I got a real hip hop style. He got a real like more trap rap style. Which yeah. there was no disrespect to that man. It was, I respect what he does. Just just this, it to me at the time didn't blend. Now that I know I can make better music, I can make a variety of music. I feel like now we could do something. You dig? Okay, okay. So um, why why do you think like besides okay now, now you know Cap G's on the rise, right. you're on the rise, right. and then we we did have Fat Joe. But why do you think there's not been like a, a, there's actually been more white rappers than Latin rappers? Man, why why do you think there's not been like a big white rapper that's I mean a big Latin rapper that's popped off? Because like, globally and, and just. Cause they ain't, they ain't, they mean you got like King Lil G. He's another dude from LA. He popping yeah. off hard. Um, but I just feel like now, like we're the way we come in, we come in like for everybody. Like we we're, when we come with this summer, I'm telling you, we finna like bore everybody finna know my name. Everybody's finna know what happened. Cause I'm I'm gonna be the best Mexican rapper to ever live. Yeah. You know what I mean? Straight up. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I definitely do hear the bars in your in your music and the and the real the real the real raps in your music. Um. On your videos, you have the Domain Dyna, right? Right. D-Y-N-A. Right. D Y N A. Right. What, what's that? That's my label. That's my company. You know what I'm saying? That's my clique. Everything like that. Okay. So, so I own my own independently. Own my own label, and I run okay. it. And I'm the only artist signed to it right now. Dyna Music Group, Deprived Young, Now Ambitious. But um. Hey, wait, 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 what? what? It's deprived young now ambitious. Okay. Which it used to be definition of a young nigga's ambition, but then we were like, we don't really want to throw that word around like that, mm-hmm. especially with a company. Yeah. And not disrespect anybody, so we changed it to Probably Young Now Ambitious. So Dyna Music Group, LLC, you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, you know, uh, you, you, did, you did a lot of, uh, a lot of articles I saw in um, the Houston Press and things like that and stuff like that. And they talked a lot about you, you painting a lot of the Houston roots, you having, right. you having a lot of the, the Houston roots. Well, so, yeah. So I mean, like, I mean, well, what do you feel you bring different to the Houston genre? Is what uh, I'm saying. I think more the bar, like super bars, like crazy bars, like you know what I'm saying. Real hip hop feel. I feel like I'm bringing, um, you know, like like lyricism to Houston. A lot of lyricism, way more than what we had in the past few recent years. Like not recent years, but in the past, what we known for. If you go around the world, they still think Mike Jones and Paul Wall are just like the only rappers out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. Um, I just think I'm bringing a different flavor, and then being Latin on top of that is already another. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not a, definitely not a con. I think it's a pro, and um, I'm just bringing my, my, my what like what people they have this idea of like Hispanics or Latinos or what we supposed to look like, act like, dress like, and talk like, and we're switching that shit up because we evolved like the rest of the world. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. shit, we 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 know every we hit with everything too. We we could we could dress like this or dress like that. You know what I mean? So yeah. just bringing myself, bring really bringing the gang like all the homies like. Making that impact of like, hey, we here now, like putting the flag in the ground and finish where SPM was started. 
You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you know, I hear the name SPM, mm-hmm. and I love his music, but it's just like, if he's really convicted of what he did, yeah. should we really be celebrating a rapper? Well, like, like, how do you like, like, what's your thought? On I that? mean, when I first heard it, I mean, I was like, damn, you know, cause you, but at the end of the day though, like what I've known, like in the background of it and everything, like I, man, from what I understand, which is always different sides of the story. So I can't, I can't judge them cause I don't know the situation. I don't know. I know the situation, but I don't know what really happened. If it didn't really happen. Cause yeah. there's so many backside stories to it. Like there was like act, no, act, no actual evidence of anything on that little girl. Oh, okay. So, and they said in the courtroom, she was like, I, maybe I was dreaming, like, I don't know. And you know what I'm saying? So, oh, okay. so yeah. you never know. But at the end of the day, though, like, yeah. the way I see it is that a Mexican rose up and then shit, some took him down. But yeah. whether he made the wrong decision or not, like like I said, like, it's a, that's a fucked up charge. But I don't know whether to believe it or not, but I just know that I want to finish the job that he started. That's you know how I, I mean? felt. That's exactly how I felt. Like, it, it's a fucked up charge if it's true. But yeah. how do we know it's true with yeah. what's going on in today's never world know. and what everyone's going on with the with the world? Yeah, you never know. So, what artists out of Houston that you've worked with so far? Um, uh, my boy Pro Pro Pain. That's one of my uh one of my closest homies. You need help. Get, would you please help get him on the man, show? Man, I can't. Man, I'm telling you this. Pro's the worst texter. Worst that dude would be like, man, shoot, oh, man, I mean, you got, I, I'll holler at him, I will holler, holler at him, man, bro. Holler at him for us because I talked to his booking person, booking person sent me to another person. I was like, man, this yeah, is man, too I, much. I talk holler at them. Uh, I work with Pro. I've worked with Maxo Cream. That's the homie. We're trying to get him too. Maxo, yeah, Maxo's killing shit right now. Um, who else I work with? I worked with um, I'm trying to think of the other I know I work with more people. Um, I just got a joint with Kirko. I, oh, my boy Les. I worked with Les before. Okay. That's the homie. Damn, you, you, you work with everybody we trying to get on the show. Yeah, yeah. I work with yeah, Dobie. Dobie's Dobie. Dobie. the homie and shit. Um, I got a new joint uh, with Track Sounds Dropped It. We got the video ready with Killer and GT Garza. Yeah. It's us three on that joint. So pretty much, I mean, everybody, all the, all the real live names. That's I good. still, you know, I still want to work. Um, they ain't, I just want to, you know, expand outside the yeah. city. You know what I'm saying? For sure.